Hey, welcome back, everyone. Toysh is here, and we have some, we'll say in quotation marks, new, new Batman Adventures action figures to talk about today. This, and, and I'll just save you some time, these are from about 10 years ago, roughly, right? McFarlane Toys, bringing them back. This is the DC Direct, the new Batman Adventures action figure line. So we have the Batman the Animated Series line, which has been hitting targets. That is a Target Store exclusive line. And now we have the new Batman Adventures, which is, of course, the direct sequel to the Batman the Animated Series, which will not be a Target Store exclusive. In fact, it will go on to online, such as Amazon, Entertainment Earth. You get the idea. The new Batman Adventures... I have a mixed deal with, right? When it first got revealed, and I remember this, it was in Wizard Magazine, this was the coolest thing ever because Batman the Animated Series went to the Batman and Robin adventures and then it just kind of trickled away. Like, it just kind of poof, it was gone one day. And back then, the internet and whatnot wasn't what it was. You, know, you just go on and uh, active alerts and all that kind of such. It didn't happen. So you'd have to go to magazines for the most part. And when they showed off the new character designs in that Wizard Magazine issue, that became like the issue that I just loved reading. I just opened that up every day and just read it. And I still have that issue. And the designs were killer, right? I absolutely loved the way the new Joker looked, Clayface. And I particularly liked what they did with Batman. And, of course, back then, that was kind of shocking. They go, oh, hey, we're, we're going to go, you know, Robin's going to become Nightwing. And then Tim Drake. They didn't just, like, everything's a spoiler. They just told you what was going to happen. And I actually love that, especially these days. Everybody thinks everything's a spoiler, right? I put Ghostbuster images up, and people go, that's a spoiler. What's the spoiler? You have no idea the context of these characters. They're just toys. They're figures of the characters you're going to meet in the movie, and you can get them now. One guy goes, oh, it's a trash bag ghost. <laughs> That's a spoiler. How? <laughs> in what way? You know what I mean? Oh, my God, they have proton packs. Girls can be Ghostbusters. That was another one that I saw. Uh, yeah, Janine was a Ghostbuster in the real Ghostbusters. And, of course, Kylie Griffin, she was in the Extreme Ghost. I don't think a lot of you watch Ghostbusters or really care, <laughs> if I'm being honest, right? So the TNBA, New Batman Adventures, was fantastic. Or so I thought. I think I like the designs a whole lot better. There are some fantastic episodes in that, what, two or three seasons? However, they kind of split it up. It's probably two seasons. But... The Batman, the animated series, still reigns supreme in terms of the storyline. It's as a, as a total package, we will say. A lot of the changes they did for TNBA, like with Mr. Freeze and such, that was kind of wackadoo. They kind of retconned that away in Batman Beyond, but he spent a good chunk of 50 years, I think, stuck in that position. Clayface, they kind of messed with the, the dynamics of the characters, and I kind of liked that for the most part. That was kind of interesting what they did. Not all of it worked, let's be honest, but uh, we're going to be talking about the new Batman Adventures figures that, of course, DC Direct made <laughs> 10 years ago. So they're not really new, but they're newish, right? And as always, if you are interested in any of these figures... Uh, you can go ahead and order them through my affiliate links down below. Thank you so much for using my links. Helps the channel to grow. You get the idea by now. Thank you so much. First and foremost, we are getting Batman. That's a shocker, right? Also, I have to think, maybe doing a little bit too much right off the bat, right? We have the Batman Adventures at Target. Now we have the TNBA. Eh, pump the brakes a little bit. You're going you're gonna to freak people out, McFarlane Toys. Also, I should probably tell you that these are not... $40, because I feel like every single release now, every photo, we're going to have to talk about that. No, these are just the $25 mark, although they don't come with a build-a-figure piece. Batman comes with a stand, which that's a good thing. He comes with a variety of hands and the battering and all that kind of stuff. He looks good. I highly recommend this Batman. This is the one figure out of this wave that I do actually have. I got him when they reissued him through the uh, the new Batman Adventures Continue, right? That kind of situation. So I'll tell you honestly, this is one of my favorite Batmans in my collection. 
I love the look of this sleek Batman costume, and it translates fairly well to the plastic format. And like I said, it comes with a bunch of stuff, which is always nice to see. He's got the little grapnel that they redesigned for the TNBA, and there's a hand holding one, and then you get a separate one, which of course, that's cool, battering, all that jazz. This time around, there's no build-a-figure. You're getting an animation cell reproduction. Uh, not something I need. See, I think less uh, gimmicky items would be fantastic, right? Maybe design something new because for the most part, as you'll see throughout these figures, these are just straight reissues, right? They didn't change anything. Like we are getting for Batman the Animated Series at Target, we get a build a figure now, right? So that's a completely new figure. Whereas with these, now you're getting a cell reproduction. It's not like, oh, that's so terrible. It's just kind of like, yeah, thanks. It's not doing a whole lot. Although if you have a Batman the Animated Series TNBA setup. This might look nice. I get it. They're trying to make a whole complete kind of package, right? You put this behind the figure, yada, yada. Here is the TNBA Batman all packaged up. Really nice artwork choices on the front, <laughs> on the sides. For those of you that may not have grown up with TNBA and Batman the Animated Series and everything that, when it switched, this TNBA artwork, because it was so simplified, was everywhere. Coloring books, the Kenner action figures, Hasbro took over and they did all those action figures, right? I never liked it. It never looks right unless it's like directly from the show or Bruce Tim drew it. It just looks wonky. It doesn't work, doesn't look good. So <laughs> that's my two cents on the packaging. But like I said, if you want this Batman from TNBA, you can pre order him now. We have Killer Croc. And Baby Doll, quite the pairing, right? Of course, they had that episode, Killer Croc teams up, Baby Doll, and Baby Doll tries to blow up all of Gotham City with a nuclear reactor, of course, because she's spurned. Baby Doll was an interesting character, totally liked what they did with that. I'm not too sure with what they kind of changed and whatnot. The character designs, wackadoo and TNBA from Batman the Animated Series. Killer Croc also got his makeover, right? I kind of like the way Waylon Jones looked like in Batman the Animated Series. When they redid it, I go, oh, that's really interesting. I like what they did. And then it never really went anywhere, right? It was just kind of, yeah, now he's more of a crocodile. Man, I like the first version better now that i think about it now that i'm older now i get to like think back on those things however in terms of a figure translating it dc direct they were on to something and i'll stop you right here these are not going to be articulated enough for a lot of you out there let's be honest they didn't change anything they didn't alter anything they're not going to do that they're just taking pre-existing molds slapping some plastic and a box around them and, and there you go you have reissues so there's not a whole lot of new here especially with the articulation so no killer croc does not have any knee articulation which I don't have these figures. I'm looking forward to getting them, but I'll admit that's a little weird to not put any knee articulation in this character. Whereas in the show, I, and I think they're going mainly off the character designs, right? The maquettes and whatever else they built when you look at the show. Yeah, he's always kind of like in this hunched. He's got like a weird body type where he's always kind of crouching. Although in the show, he, he doesn't really stand like that most of the time. <laughs> I get what they're trying to go for in terms of aesthetics, but no, I don't think they achieved it all too well. He does come with the chicken, right? That's kind of cool. The one that Baby Doll throws to him before she breaks him out of prison because they keep Killer Croc in like a tank. You know what I mean? They went a little bit too wackadoo with the villains, I think, in TNBA, where they were a lot more, not to say realistic, but more comic booky, but toned down. It kind of worked, and then TNBA kind of. Went kind of bat poop crazy with it. Extra hands, Baby Doll's Baby Bottle, and you get Baby Doll as well with Killer Croc and the chicken. And yes, you will need these stands. That's what everyone tells me. You get the reproduction cell. Of course, that's when they're in the nuclear reactor from their episode, which was Love is a Croc. <laughs> it's a fantastic episode. Swagadoo as heck, though. You gotta see it. So anyways, and it, remember that one joke? They go, they go, they imply that they are in a relationship. <laughs> anyways, go watch the episode. If you want Baby Doll and Killer Croc, you can pre-order them. Now we got Batgirl, which here's one of the redesigns I don't think 
worked, right? I like the costume, but then they had a new voice actress, which I'm a stickler for that. Yes, it works, and it kind of doesn't. I liked some of the episodes Batgirl was in, but they went too heavy-handed with the sidekicks, and I think that was another problem that I had with the TNBA. I like it when it's just Batman, or you throw in a Robin from time to time, or it's a guest, right? Batgirl, she had her episode arc, two-parter, this all the time. Always. I have so many sidekicks. What's the point anymore? And then it turns Batman. It's it just weird. I know he's got to play off different characters. It can't be Alfred all the time. This figure, you're going to have a hard time standing. She comes with a stand. She comes with a batarang. No. And, and see, this, I get what people are saying. This is one of those times where, in terms of reissuing something, they could have painted the bat grapnel that's in her hand because it's still yellow. That would have been a nice upgrade. Something they could have done because they're saving money on all of this, right? This is already tooled. It's already done, ready to go. Paint the things that should have been painted the first time around that that DC Direct missed. You get the Corsell that I guess they're going with Love is a Croc again for whatever reason. <laughs> for Bad Girl. They should have, you know, the episode they should have used, right? Over the Edge. Just saying. Because that was a very poignant episode for this version of Batgirl, I will say that. Here she is all packaged up. It's got that goofy artwork on the back, I will say. If you want Batgirl, you can pre-order her. Now, we got one last figure to talk about, which is Harvey Dent Two-Face. I like what they did. I like how they streamlined Two-Face. They kind of tied him into Tim Drake, right? They killed, or he basically is insinuated that he killed Stephen Shifty Drake, which was Tim Drake's father, when they kind of redid Tim Drake as a character for TNBA. They didn't do too much with Harvey Two-Face in this style. It wasn't until they introduced the judge, where they have like a new third personality, which was kind of bizarre if you think about it. You never saw Two-Face again after that episode until Justice League, but that was like a alternate Earth kind of thing. Anyways, yeah, I know too much about all the animated continuity. Now, he does come with very show episode specific accessories, which I totally dig. And like I said, no, they didn't change the articulation. So he has that nearly nine to 10 year old articulation, especially in the legs. You can see the joints in the front. So that's going to throw a lot of people off. But again, then these are not for you. You didn't want them back then. You don't want them now. Don't get them. Don't force yourself. Don't think you want them. You don't want them, right? If anything, go back and get the Hasbro Kenner ones. Those are fantastic as well. I have more videos up coming up uh, as retro shiz for those. But he's got the gas mask, a little pocket watch clock, and he has the case, which the original figure had the, the gas canisters, so I'm assuming they're probably in there. I don't know. We have to see because they're not in the photos. And then he also used to come with a gun, which, again, if you don't know this by now, they're not going to put a gun in the box. Warner Brothers, they're anti-gun and all that kind of stuff. I get it to a certain degree, but then they're toys, right? And it's kind of part of the character. Uh, you know what I mean? You just kind of have to go, cool. Sins of the Father, Two-Face from the TNBA episode, all packaged up, ready to go. Pretty solid wave, I will say, starts. I would like to see them. See, this is a good uh, kind of start to reissuing more of these, but I would have loved to see new characters like a Build-A-Figure, right? They could have done Calendar Girl. That would have been kind of cool. Farmer Brown. I would have loved to have seen Farmer Brown. That would have been awesome. <laughs> From the episode Critters. Could have come with the talking goats. God, it's a terrible episode. Wackadoo episode. But you can see all the characters. They're all in scale with one another. I think that that's one thing that they definitely achieved here. So that's nice to see, right? So we got all the characters ready to go. Batgirl, Batman, Killer Croc, Baby Doll, and Two-Face. And I'm looking forward to getting this. I'll be getting the three out of the four. I already have Batman, and the reproduction cell is not enough to buy these. That's for sure. But that will be my quick news updates on the new McFarlane Toys XDC Direct reissues of the new Batman Adventures action figures. I would expect these a lot sooner. Not to say that these are going to hit store shelves. I think that's kind of up in the air. But as far as shipping out online, I think mine said February... 8th, first week of February, something like that. So it might even ship sooner. I think these are ready to go. So well, it just all depends, right? I mean, it's not like we don't have enough 
going on. Lobo just arrived last night. I have some The New Adventures of Batman figures to check out. And we have some steel and some other things. So yeah, it's going to be a busy week. But anyways, I digress. You've heard my thoughts. Comment below. Let me know. And I'm going to leave you guys with that. As always, drink some great coffee, eat some great food. But most importantly, remember when it comes to the new Batman adventures, interesting designs. Story-wise, kind of went either way. Over the edge, solid episode. And when they do, let me know what you found. I'll talk to you guys soon. Adios.